Now, has Kennedy Raputa just admitted to hitting Amber Ray and, of course, stated that this was a one-time thing due to drunkenness? Anyway, since Amber Ray put out a statement, Kennedy Rapudo has broken his silence. Let's get into that. Welcome back to AFAX number one stop to entertainment and trending news. As you all know by now, Amber Ray had shared that she was done with Kennedy Rapudo. She had indicated that she had gone through physical abuse in that relationship and she was not going to take that. I don't know if we should go through that statement real quick so that we understand the response of Kennedy Rapudo. I think it's right we just go through it real quick so that those who might have forgotten what Amber Ray had stated or rather had not seen it as well can understand what we are talking about. So Amber Ray had posted on her timeline in its purest form love is beautiful. It is a life force an energy that brings out the best of us. It is the energy that drives a man to provide for and protect his family and inspire a woman to nurture protect, care for and guide the same family. Love is what unites them both and inspires them to build, grow, prosper and experience life together but love only prospers in its purity when you as an individual learn to love yourself, learn to trust your instincts, learn to be guided by positive affirmation about who you are and what you are capable of and to an extent you learn how you want to be and should be loved and know what you cannot tolerate. I have always been a champion for love and marriage knowing too well the joys of having a family. Having kids that look up to you, cherish and adore you because all you can do is give them what you never had plus much more. But in the absence of a loving environment, the care and compassion that children need to develop and grow in becomes non-existent. The love and unity that a marriage should stand on becomes blood and eventually it leaves you drained. I have been in that environment for a while now and my peace and safety have made it impossible for me to stay. The bruises and scars go beyond beyond the physical and for my own sake I have to choose me. Knowing too well about how society keeps its mouth shut on domestic violence, I won't use my platform to sing the same song over and over again. I choose to lead with compassion because in the end, it hurts. It hurts to have your trust shattered in ways you cannot express in words. But it hurts even more being a silent observer in your own life. It hurts letting your fears and conditioning take over, making you stay when you know you should leave. It hurts when all you do is tolerate. I empathize for women who have gone through or are going through a similar situation, whether silently or loudly. I hope and pray you find strength. I pray you find peace and love and I pray you find yourself again. I know it will be a long couple of days, weeks for me, but I'd rather be at peace inside than project a false heaven on the outside. I'd rather speak my truth than let gossip tarnish what I have built for me and my family thus far. Things in my household have not been okay, but they will be. My family will be okay and eventually I will be okay, Amber Ray. And right there we got the sense that Amber Ray had gone through physical abuse with Kennedy Raputo. And this message actually came as a shock because the couple were just on holiday together. They seemed to be very happy. And Kennedy Raputo has now responded to these allegations. And that is what now I want us to dive into. So Kennedy Raputo shares, there's been so much activity concerning my marriage in the public domain this last couple of days. Like any other marriage, we've had our moments of ups and downs and ours isn't perfect either. A lot has been said, but I've not had the strength to address it. Yes, we've separated of an incident that happened while we were both drunk on the night of 13th this month. It's an event that should have never happened and I feel very sorry and in deep regret that it happened mostly to the person that I swore to protect and love love with all that I had. What caught me by surprise is the manner in which the writer chose her words. One single isolated incident doesn't mean that I'm a violent person. I've never been and I'll never be. I'm raising two beautiful girls and I will never advocate for any domestic violence or gender-based violence. I am man enough to admit when I'm on the wrong and on this one particular incident, I was on the wrong but it doesn't change who I am. I will continue raising my children the best way I can and 
and fight for my family off the media. To the mother of my beautiful daughter, I am deeply sorry and sincerely regret my action in that moment of weakness. And he has put the XOXO, that is the hugs and kisses. I think right there we have gotten an admission from Kennedy Rapudo that this incident happened, which is termed as a one-time incident. Of course, we have gotten the blame is on alcohol. They were both drunk. And so this would not have happened if he was sober. I don't know what to think about that, guys, because he has apologized. He has said that he was wrong. He was supposed to protect his partner, that is Amber Ray. He failed to do that in this particular incident. But do you think that uh, people who have crossed that line are able to change and never do it again? Because I have often heard of how domestic violence starts. It starts with a push. It starts with a slap. It starts with things being thrown at you and it escalates from that. Do you think that Amber Ray will be setting herself up if she decides to give Kennedy Rapudo another chance? This is not the first time that they have broken up publicly and Amber Ray has put out a statement. She has always put out a statement whenever she is not okay with Kennedy Rapudo and she's done with him. I'll actually link the first statement that she had put out when they had broken up. Then you can go through that. I really can't remember the words in it, but I remember I did that video. But anyway, what we are getting is that uh, Kennedy Rapudo is admitting to what Amber Ray had put out. The wording from Amber Ray might have not been right. He's not agreeing with the wording, but he does put out that they were both drunk and this incident happened due to that. It also seems that he wants to make things work and right with Amber Ray. Like he has stated, he will be fighting for his family behind the scene. So who knows? We might be seeing Bibi Nabona Tajiri back again in love more than ever wrap today thanks so much for watching subscribe and hit that notification bell so be the first to be notified once of any new uploads catch you on the next one bye bye, bye.